Yo, yo, Daily Fire, if it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. Go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 315. It's expectation. Oh, man, how am I going to phrase this right now? I wrote down in my notes... I don't, so the, here's, here's the process. I'm going to let you guys in on real quick. When I do daily fires through life, through education in the morning, through training, through driving, random ideas just come to me and I just write them down on my notes section. In my notes section, I'm going to literally show it to you right now. My notes section, Kyle can see it, is pretty, is decently deep, right? This is just random thoughts. So what I wrote down on this one was... 315. I don't want to be the middle of the road. I'm just not another trainer. And I remember this thought process, and, and here's where I'm going with this, is that your expectation shouldn't just be in your local market. Okay? Now follow me for a second. Now this is, <laughs> which is funny, this is previous to the to the internet training, but this is what I was thinking. And half the time when I say some of this shit out loud, it makes me laugh because I think, why the fuck was I thinking this? But this was my thought. When I became a trainer, I thought to myself, I need to be one of the best trainers in my local area first, which was Reynoldsburg, Ohio. That's where my gym was. I can't be one of the best trainers if I can't be good here first. Then I can evolve. Can I be one of the best trainers in Columbus? Which is, by the way, got a lot of really good trainers. Then if I can be a good trainer in Columbus, could I be known potentially in the state or the region then in the U.S. and internationally? So my execution on this was how do I own this area first? A lot of people come out and they're like, I'm a trainer. How do I do international training? You got to get your craft right at home first, right at fucking home. But even though, and here's where I'm going to bring this back to the whole time I thought my whole process was I'm not just like everyone else locally. I'm meant to do bigger things outside of here now. (laughs) Where this came from, I can't really tell you, but this is just what my thought process was. And I'm trying to relay that to you so maybe we can open some minds and also create some strategies on how I got here. The strategy was, can I dominate my local market within a few miles? Whether I did, that's debatable, but I thought I did, right? Can I then be on the top list of people in my city that do what I do And the way I knew I hit that is motherfuckers were driving to me from all over the city to utilize my diet techniques, my posing, the training, right? They was coming to me from 20, 30, 40 minutes away. Then could I get to a point where now I'm impacting people at a further distance? You got to remember The internet still really ain't happening yet a whole bunch from a training standpoint. And then I had an opportunity in 2006 where I took my first internet client. 2006, y'all. I was doing internet training, $350 a month, 2006. I had people all over the country, all over the world. I was making more money on Wednesdays on the phone from 3 p.m. to 8 Then I was making in the gym the whole week. That's what ended up happening or rough estimate. So it's like I almost matched my income or at some points beat it when clients were up and down because I wasn't in a high net worth area for clients. I was charging 30 bucks a session. Wasn't anything crazy. When people's, when gas was high, people didn't have the money for a trainer. I was an extra. You're always an extra when you're a trainer. But in that, I was like very middle class, right? So the reality is, is that I would go back and forth and try to really understand and strategize in my head how I would progress like that. And I think it's necessary to potentially look at it that way because along the way, my craft got better. Along the way, my name got more reputation. Along the way, the reps and confidence continued to grow. 
but I never thought I was only meant for that local market. Now, here's what's also kind of crazy. If I think back to the first day, I'm Corey, not Corey G yet. I'm Corey Gregory of T3 Personal Training. I'm 20 years old, not even 21 yet. I open my my studio, which is smaller than our podcast room, by the way. That was my gym. I was already successful in my mind. Somebody, first person, shout out Irene, pay me $20 to be her trainer. But then at that point, when I opened the gym, I had 20 clients. To me, I'm already successful. I got my own gym. I'm paying my bills. And I go as I please. And I am a fitness trainer as my profession at 20 years old. I am already successful in my mind. So what you guys have to realize is since that day, as long as it continued to work, I've already exceeded expectations that was even potentially possible in most people's minds and probably my mind. I got there a lot quicker. But once I understood what was possible and how quick I got there, now mind you, I started the gym for like 5000 bucks. It was a shit show. But I got it started and people wanted to help me. But here's what you have to understand. Once I understood what was possible, I went immediately in. I just got through that fucking coal mine. I just saved my fucking money in a year I'm here. What's really fucking possible? That's what I would think to myself. What's really fucking possible, G? What's really fucking possible if you was just shoveling on your knees and the roof is 42 inches for fucking 15, 20 hours to save your money to make this be possible? What if I keep that same fucker fucking energy? What's really possible? And then I thought to myself, I'm bigger than just right here. I'm going to work hard so I can get outside of here. I'm bigger than Ohio. I'm big like... This is all just mind stuff. See, what you guys don't realize, like, it sounds egotistical. It sounds arrogant. I know how it sounds, but you have to fucking think that way. It doesn't mean that you're going to walk around that way. It means you're going to work like you want that to be fucking real. I worked like I wanted that to be real, and it fucking happened. It fucking happened because every day I would think I'm not like every other fucking clipboard trainer at fucking World Gym. I'm not like every fucking clipboard trainer at Planet Fucking Fitness. I'm not like them. I'm fucking different. I'm built different. I spent more time to be here. And th- whether this is true or not, this is all right here. See what you guys got to be willing. This whole set of daily fires is all about the mindset. It's the fucking mindset. That's what changes it. But this mindset only got here because I felt a little bit of success. I worked really hard and got a little bit of success and then I realized what was possible and I went right into, I'm fucking different. What's my next strategy? Do you want to ride with somebody that's confident? Do you want to ride with somebody that believes in themselves? Do you want to ride in somebody that's confident and says, you want to change? I fucking got you. It's what I do. Yeah, most people want to be with winners. I'm a fucking winner. I might have been born like... Uh, not sure if that's going to work out. Could have became a loser real fucking quick. Could have became a loser real fucking quick. It would have been easier. It was easier just to have a shitty job, maybe, you know, get in the drugs, not work hard. It would have been easier to do that. But instead, I chose the other path. So what is possible? What's that little bit that's possible? And I went and made it happen. And so I need you guys to understand that it's okay to think I'm bigger than this situation, but you have to be willing to work to create that, to be the actual reality. And then when you experience it, it's not like, oh, I'm fucking sweet. It's, oh, what's next? What is it going to take to get to the next level? And I just need you guys to think it's a balance of confident in yourself and willingness to work confidence in yourself and willingness to work taking risk and opportunity risk and opportunity and then season what's yours all right daily fire we out